Putting an entire vehicle together is really about balance. You can always go further in certain areas, but if you do, then other things could suffer. So we started working on the new Volt more than four years ago, almost as soon as the first generation Volt was launched. We're actually building it, both first in just math data, we're virtually building it, and then we're building the real thing and we're testing it. When the Volt was conceived, it was conceived to be a car that could satisfy any owner's needs. Chevrolet created a new segment of vehicle that allows people to adopt an EV with no compromise. And the data from our owners in Generation 1 shows exactly that. So where do we go in Generation 2? Customers tell us they love range, and so we want to give them more range. So we worked around every system of the car to make it more efficient. And we worked inside the battery pack. We have an all-new battery cell. It delivers us 20% more energy by volume. And in the end, the battery ends up weighing less than it does in the Generation 1 Volt. So we spend a lot of time working on that entire flow of energy from the battery into the drive unit all the way to the ground and making sure that each of those different pieces is as efficient as it can be. With the new Volt, we'll be able to go up to 50 miles fully electrically, which is a big improvement over the first generation Volt. The great thing about being a part of a company that's got a hundred year history of developing great automobiles is you get all of that learning when you're doing something new. So our owners really get the great benefit of automotive experience in engineering and design, and then on top of it, they get the new technology that comes with electric vehicles. I truly believe the Volt is gonna be iconic in the history of electric vehicles. You know, electric vehicles have been around for a long time. And at adoption of electric vehicles, I think you're gonna see an inflection point at the time when the Volt was introduced. Its place in history will be well-defined. are not looking for compromise. They want a vehicle that meets all their needs, and their needs are everything from great styling, great acceleration, to not using gasoline, to the latest advances in safety technology. So early in the design process, when we're in the studio working on the aerodynamics, the way the car looks, we're also working on safety. When it comes to preventing accidents, we have a number of different features. We have two that have to do with helping you stay in your lane. The first one is Lane Keep Assist, which will actually help nudge you back in the lane if you're not intending to actually change lanes or make a turn. We also have Lane Departure Warning, which helps to let you know that you're getting too close to the line, can give you a little audible warning. We have all the different features to help prevent having an accident, but if you were to have an accident, we have the structure that's designed to protect the occupant. We also have 10 airbags in the front and rear of the car. And if you still have an accident, we have OnStar that will respond by calling to see if you're okay, and if not, send help. The great thing about Generation 2 is it's coming along at a time when we can really add unique safety content all around the vehicle. You know, as engineers, you seek out opportunities to learn, you seek out technical challenges, and the Volt is a great opportunity to experience that. A lot of what you're going to see today and what you'll see in the very near future is a direct result of input from owners such as yourself. We're always trying to learn from the experiences and from the input that we've gotten from you. We hope to keep doing that and what we really want to know is what do you think about how it looks? My first question was when can I buy it? The second generation looks awesome. I mean, I honestly think the styling has been upgraded. I was really impressed with the interior portion of the car. I think it actually looks like a high-performance luxury brand. I really love what they've done with the design. To me, it's more cohesive, it's, it's tighter and cleaner and more aggressive. It is definitely more aggressive, but there's something more confident about it. I can't remember the last time I went to the gas station, but I know at 10,000 miles, I'm 90% electric. I've gone about 20,000 miles and I've only filled up one time. I usually get about 45 miles on a charge. I don't even know what gas costs anymore. 
So it really means a lot to us to have you here today and to, to begin this journey together for the next generation Volt. You know, when we started just putting pencil to paper on the Volt from an exterior aspect, we really didn't think too much about the fact that it's a very uh, unique vehicle and how it's powered. We just wanted something exciting looking, and we knew it was going to have four doors, but we thought, gosh, maybe a, more of a coupe aesthetic. We spend a lot of time on a car like this in a wind tunnel. I mean, we tune the exterior surface like you might tune a, a guitar. I mean, you're just dialing in the notes just perfectly so they sound right. Well, we dial in the surfaces and the line work so they look just right, but there is this hint that there is something different about the car. The biggest change from Gen 1 to Gen 2 from an exterior standpoint is the car has just got a lot more attitude. It's a lot more raked. The car's still eco, but it's gestured, it's dynamic, it's got a great stance to it. You know, one of the philosophies right up front was, let's make the car intuitive. So if you've never been in a Volt before and you sit in the seat, you still know exactly what to do to turn the car on to drive away. On the interior, we did a lot to add some richer materials to the vehicle throughout. It's a lot more sculpted and swept. It has a lot more movement. And then we did things in the uh, center stack of the vehicle. We, we gotten feedback with Gen 1 that maybe the controls weren't as intuitive as they needed to be, so we simplified it. I think, you know, Chevrolet designs has evolved over the years, and we're certainly on a new path of, of discovery and a new path of looking at things totally differently. We are finding new roads in, in what we do every day, and dis discovery is very, very important. We're taking some risk along the way, but that's, that's what makes life exciting. Today, I'm hoping you'll get a chance to see some of the dynamic aspects, too, that have uh, changed since your last ride. Clearly, uh, we've been working on the NVH. I think you'll notice that, and we've been uh, spending some time on low-end acceleration. Right away, you can, you can, you know, one of the things in the, the previous generation of cars was some of the noise that was generated by the tire on the road. And you can already, you can already see the big improvements we have in that, and then the, uh, the dynamic piece that we drove last time uh, was particularly impressive to me, um, uh, along with the new steering calibration. It, it really, it takes the car from what was a really good car to an excellent car. As we, uh, as we drive the car and we bring it into production, I think um, we're really going to uh, excite the whole current Volt owner group, but also we're going to get customers that we never got before here with a car that is really something special. And that's exactly the idea. We want to take the car a little more mainstream, but still keep all those things that our first uh, Volt customers really liked and told us that they liked. We tried to make those things better, and the things that uh, they, they've said that they didn't like, we've actually tried to fix those and uh, you know get them off the list. What do I see here from a range standpoint? Holy cow. Well, <laughs> Save that though, we're not supposed to talk about that today, but that is one of the things that's coming up. Oh, that's
Pioneer 2016 Mercedes Maybach 600.